All right, guys, so I see a couple things that you guys are doing to not get the results you want here. Um, one thing I noticed with, with Jim, Jim is moving a lot of his wrist and kind of releasing it too early. So I, I have a couple things here that I want to try with both of you guys. You guys want to take these? Yeah. And I want you guys to almost connect it, and the whole goal of this is going to try to be so the, uh, the alignment rod does not touch your body. So keep it as far away as possible. It's almost like a, like, a, like a hinge and hold. So what we're going to do here is we're going to connect it here. All right. We're going to take the back swing, and we're going to try to keep it as far away from the body. We don't want this alignment rod to hit the body here. Okay, so we want to kind of bend the wrist here and hold it and have the body pull the club through. Okay. All right? Right there. All right, just hold it like this. Yeah, so so like your normal approach, approach yeah. it like you normally would. Make sure it's a little away from your body. Kind of do that nice little hinge and have your body pull it through. You don't want the alignment rod to hit your side. You want to keep it as far away from your body as possible. Okay. All right? Try that out. Let's try to get it within the T's here. T's represent an up and down range. That looks good. Looks good. Okay. That one that hit my side right yep. away. I can kind of tell the... Yeah, it's just from the, the release of the wrist a little too early and you'll feel the alignment rod just kind of hit your side there. So the wrist just stayed flat the whole time pretty much? Yeah, so you kind of you kind of set them and then you just, you just have your body pull it through. Kind of your hips and shoulders just kind of pull it through from there. There you go, Jim.